continuing on with layouts, paper space, and viewports. Let's launch the move command, a little refresher here. You can move the, the viewport we just created. Anything outside the white paper, of course, will not plot out. And then there's a non-printable area we'll get to in a second. You can double click on a viewport to get into temporary model space and modify your drawing, trim, fill it, erase, move, rotate, whatever. Double click back out of your temporary model space into paper space. You get the blue triangle, the word paper, faint border. You can copy this viewport a few more times in, your, in the printable area of the drawing if you like. And each one will plot the plot your intellectual data out at a different scale. Um, double click outside. So now we got three little three viewports that'll plot, but the, the orange perimeter or yellow perimeter of the viewports will not plot out because it's on a non-plotting layer. Renaming the layout, simply right click on the word layout that you've been developing. Right click on it, rename it, say, uh, I don't know, A size. Uh, color maybe, you know, give it a logical name, which printer you're routed to, what size of sheet of paper, uh, color black and white, page of your uh, tech manual, something like that. You, once you renamed a layer, you can copy it simply by right clicking on the uh, layout name. Let's hit enter to finish naming it. Right click on the layout name with your, with your mouse, click move or copy, be sure to check this bottom here. I keep forgetting to click create a copy, move it to the end or move it uh, bef um, to, a, to the layout before which you want it to appear. I want it to be right after A size, so I'll click layout 2, click OK, and now I got a copy of layout color called layout color 2. Toggle over to it, it's the same, M enter for move, I'll move my paper space garbage, so now you can see the difference between the two layouts. Just that one that minor change of that paper space drawn circle. Um, what else? You can re uh, rename your new layout, of course. Call it, I don't know, a size uh, uh, three VPs for three viewports, maybe. Um, what else? I guess making a second way of making viewports. Let me erase a couple of these viewports. Got two minutes. Draw a polyline with, um, you know, taking advantage of polar or not. Remember, you can uh, uh, whittle around making your uh, uh, polyline with arcs and lines. And then close for good measure, any any polyline that you terminate where it began, P edit to change the uh, weight of it down to zero, but I uh, doubt it'll matter here. And zero. Now we'll, we've got an object with one minute to, to go of what we want to convert into a viewport. This circle is also eligible to convert into a viewport. Before I I'll hit escape to get out of uh, P edit command. I'll select them both and move them to the viewports layer. Keep forgetting to set viewports layer current. There I got it. Now I got two objects. I can go to layout tab, drop down the layout creating flyout, select object. You gotta select them one at a time. There I've converted the, the circle into a round television set through which you can see Jimmy Kimmel and his guest or whatever your model space drawing is. Click object again, click on this closed polyline. There it automatically does a approximate zoom extents. I can still grip edit this thing just like I can grip edit the uh, object from which the viewport was made. Uh, that's about it. You learn to create a viewport with the rectangle tool and, and draw a polyline, ellipse, a circle, and convert it into a polyline. See you next. Oh, and uh, copy and rename layouts as well. See you next time.